Now, if you're a basketball fan, you saw the NBA Finals Game 1, Warriors vs. Cavs, and you saw how the Warriors defeated the Cavs by, I believe, 20 to 30 points without the help of Stephen Curry or Klay Thompson, or really just, they had the help of him, just not a lot of it. So, in today's challenge, we're going to see if the Cavs can actually beat the Golden State Warriors without the big three completely, like, no scoring, no rebounds, no, nothing, just not going to have the big three in the game. And they'll be surprised at what happens, actually. The game started off with the Golden State winning the tip-off and having Andrew Bogut spin around his defender and dunk for the first basket of the ballgame. Unlike the Golden State Warriors, the Cavs had a hard time finding the bottom of the bucket as they missed their first five of six shots. The Warriors found their success from having lots of floor movement which freed up lots of defenders off of screens and whatnot. But just like most basketball teams, they usually miss a couple at the beginning until they start getting hot. Unlike the Warriors, the Cavs use lots of pick and rolls and screens to free themselves open instead of moving around the court while LeBron held it at the top of the key for like an isolation. And every shot they did take wasn't as quality as it should be as Kyrie Irving started off the game 0 for 3, missing a lot of these bad shots. It was a back and forth battle between the Cavs and the Warriors, each scoring buckets, and it was like this throughout the entire game. But at the beginning for the Warriors, their best player had to be Harrison Barnes, as he went 3 for 3 plus some more. One struggle the Cavs had throughout the game was making their free throws. They went 3 for 7 throughout the entire game, and if they made those 4 that they missed, they would have ended up winning this game. Spoiler. It was a back and forth battle between the Cavs and the Warriors, each team making a basket after the other one, changing leads. After Cavaliers missed, Harrison Barnes goes down the court to only make an and one and the field goal, unlike the Cavs who hard time making field goals. It wasn't until the second quarter where Leandro Barbosa was injured. However, this injury ended up not affecting him as much as they thought it would. With the Warriors having a three point lead, LeBron James takes matters into his own hands and makes it a one point deficit now. At the end of the half, the Warriors have a much better field goal percentage and rebounds but they turned over the ball so much more than the Cavs. Remember how I said Leandro Barbosa got injured? Well, it didn't really affect him as he kept knocking three after three down. I believe he was a better shooter when he was injured than when he was not. The Cavs and the Warriors keep on exchanging baskets and the lead. Nothing else really interesting happened besides that LeBron James hits a buzzer beater to end the third quarter and give all the momentum towards the Cavs. Fighting from a deficit, the Warriors keep making their shots where the Cavs are not. However, once the lead shrinks to just one point, Kevin Love hits a big three-pointer. He hasn't done this all day. As both teams exchange baskets, Leandro Barbosa makes an easy layup after he's injured. Barbosa comes up big with a big three-pointer even though he's injured. He does this multiple times throughout the fourth quarter, which gives the Warriors a chance to win. Each team keeps making baskets. It's a back and forth battle between the Cavs and the Warriors. Cavs are up by three, but that is until a nice pass by Barbosa into Bogut gives them just a one point lead. After a foul and an and one, Andre Kudalar misses his free throw, but they're still up by one. A layup by Della Vadova gives the Cavs a one point lead. Finally, Barbosa hits his biggest shot of the game, a three pointer to give the Warriors a two point lead. After many failed three-point attempts, the Cavs are unsuccessful in trying to defeat the Golden State Warriors who do not have Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, or Draymond Green. The final box score looks like this, with Barbosa leading the team with 13 points, 3 rebounds, and 4 assists. Harrison Barnes not far behind as well. All I gotta say guys is thank you for watching. If you like these, leave a like, let me know. I'll probably do more challenges in the future. Anyway, see you guys next time.